Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back. I hope you had a great weekend. I miss you guys so, so much. So last week, I told you that it was the last week of medical and we are moving into a new theme. So this morning, before we get right into do opening group, I am going to introduce you to that new theme. Our new theme is community helpers. And I want you to take a look at the poster that I have hanging up right here. So a community is a place where people live and where they work. So it is your town. Community helpers are people in your community or in your town that help you out. So some of those people may be police officers. What do police officers do? They keep us safe, right? They keep the danger away. Firefighters, they protect us from fires. Construction workers who help build things. A chef cooks us food. Librarian, what does a librarian do? A librarian reads books to you and helps you find books. Garbage collector who takes all your stinky trash away. A bus driver who brings us to and from school. A grocer who sells us food. A dentist. Oh, we met a dentist in our classroom. What does a dentist do? Good, they take care of our teeth. Doctors who help us feel better. Teachers who teach us new things. Mail carriers who deliver our mail. And hairstylists or hairdressers who cut our hair, highlight our hair, and give us new hairstyles. So there's many, many people in our community that help us from day to day. If you have any community helpers that you could think of that were not on our board here, have your parent text me or contact me via email or the Remind app, and then we can add them onto our chart. Are you guys ready for opening group? All right, let's get started. Good morning, preschool friends, how are you? Good morning, preschool friends, how are you? It is time to start our day. We are here to work and play. Good morning, preschool friends, how are you? So I'm gonna turn you around to our calendar. Back it up a little bit. All right, so we have our calendar there, our days of the week and our weather chart. So we are Still in the month of, who remembers? April, good. And what letter does April begin with? April begins with A. Very good, thank you, buddy. So we had two weekend days, yesterday, which was Sunday, and Saturday. Saturday's weekend day number was four, and Sunday's weekend day number was five. So here we are at Monday. What number do we have today? What number comes after five? Very good, six. So we're gonna put an X under six. We're gonna clap and count from one to six. When we get to six, we are going to stop. Get your clapping hands ready and your counting mouths ready. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Today is April. 6, 2020. If you notice, we have a lot of home days coming up. Count how many home days we have coming up. Help me count. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 home days coming up. That is because it is going to be spring break. So it gives us a little break from our learning and from school. Let's figure out what day of the week it is today. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. 
There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, so if yesterday was Sunday, what day is it today? Think about the song. There's Sunday and there's Monday. Very good. So we'll move our clip down to Monday. Look at the word Monday. What letter does it begin with? Good. It begins with the letter M. How many syllables are in the word Monday? Let's clap it out. Monday. Two syllables. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Tell me, students, what's the weather? What's the weather like today? Take a look outside your window. I'm going to say the picture, the word. When I say that word, you can tell me whether or not to stop. All right, sunny. Yes, we are going to stop. It looks like it's going to be a nice day today. Let's count how many sunny dots we have. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent job. Take a look at the chart. Which one has the most? Which picture has the most? Cloudy. Good. Which one has three? Rainy. How many more would rain need? to catch up to Sunny. Let's count. One, two. Rainy would need two more in order to catch up to Sunny and be equal. Very good job. All right, our message today, and I have Nolan here who's helping me write. Our message today is we are going to put out the fire. So we're gonna yeah. pretend that we're firefighters today. So here is my person, my person, and then here is my firefighter helmet. Are you helping me today, Nolan? And here is my firefighter hose. Here is our house. And we're putting no. out the fire in the house. Person and prop. Oh, that's okay. Mwah. We are going to put out the fire. Let's get ready to write our lines. Are you ready, Nolly? Ready? We are. Oh, thank you. Going to put out the fire period let's get our finger and we are going to track our lines here we go we are going to put out the fire do we have enough lines for each word we sure do so let's write our words today we are going to put P, good, put out the fire, fire, good, F. What do we use to put out the fire? What does a fire person use? Yes, he uses water that comes out of a hose. So we're gonna pretend we're squirting our hose. Let's turn our hose on and we're squirting, squirting, squirting. Here we go, turn our hose on. Squirting, squirting, squirting. One more time, turn our hose on. Squirting, squirting, squirting. Good. A fire person, a firefighter is a community helper. They help to keep us safe. And if there is ever a fire, they help to put it out. All right, are you ready to get your bodies moving? Let's stand up. We're gonna get ready for the freeze. So last week, we froze on the number, but we were counting the objects on the cards. This week, we're gonna freeze on the number, but we're going to play it a little bit differently. I have the number cards. When you see that number, that's how many fingers you are going to put on your hand. Are you guys ready to play? All right, here we go. Open up a bit. Now you can tell you where you please. 
Number one, one finger. or two and one. Thank you. Seven, five and two, or four and three. participating and getting up and moving your bodies. So the last thing we're going to do today is our share the news. I know that we've been home, so to call them home days, it's a little bit hard. I'm going to refer to the days that we didn't have opening group as our weekend days. So our share the news topic is, what did you do over your weekend days? I want you to talk to someone at home, it can be an adult, it can be another child, and tell them, over the weekend, I, what did you do? Did you play in your house? Did you go in your yard? Did you go for a walk? Remember, when you are speaking, the other person is listening. When the other person is speaking, you are listening. So the one activity that I would like you to play today is I have who has A through M. My YouTube video is a demonstration for the parents of I have who have medical theme vocabulary. So all of the games that I have who have games are played in a similar fashion. They just have different things on the cards. So let me grab my cards. The I have who has game A through M is on two sheets, looks like this, and then on the other sheet it has the M on it. You're gonna cut on the lines. You can notice that there's an A, B, C in the corner, so they're the cards that are going to face you. Once you cut them out, you can play with two or more people. So what you're going to do is you're going to deal your cards. So I'm gonna pretend that I am playing with another person and I am just dealing. You're going to deal until all of the cards are passed out. So here are my cards, oh, excuse me. Here are my cards right here, my two piles. So the first person is going to go and you're gonna have your cards spread out like this so you know what cards that you have. So this is my pile over here and here is my opponent's pile. So I am going to start by throwing any letter card and I'm gonna put it in the middle. So I have L, then I'm gonna flip it over and say who has J. And then that person is going to look in their cards. I have J, who has M. So it looks like my opponent has M. So they are going to say I have M, who has A. I have A, who has D. And you are going to continue playing until all of the cards are thrown in the middle. So what happens is the bottom card, the back card, should be the same card as the last one that is thrown on top. So this was an L on the bottom. So an L should be the last one on top. So that's how you know if you played it correctly. 
If you have any questions, you can always contact me via Remind or via email. I hope you have a great afternoon and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.